Welcome back to more Sip to Tally. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at Saquon Barkley's effort versus the Green Bay Packers in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Saquon ripped the Packers for the tune of 24 carries, 109 yards, and with two touchdowns. He also caught a couple of passes for 23 yards and a touchdown. But we're going to take a look at his top five runs versus the Packers and see what they did to basically rip through that Packers defense. Welcome back to more Sip to Tally. Let's get it. Now, this is Saquon's rushing chart from Next Gen Stats. And I kind of like to throw this in so you can see the area where the uh, rushes came from. The green lines are plus five yards gain. The yellow lines are zero to five. And the red lines are tackles for loss the blue dot means he scored a touchdown on those and the red dot which you don't see means he will have lost a fumble but you can kind of see most of the runs based off this chart are right up the middle and that'll be indicated by the type of runs that i'm about to show you for his top five plays and looking at saquon's pff page 17 of his 24 runs came from the zone variety which is a Highly indicative of what I'm about to show you. All of his best runs were zones. He had two uh, missed tackles forced, 86 yards out the contact, and six of his carries resulted in first down or better. All right, on to the film version, the weather film part of this uh, video. But before we get to the film, drop a like on that for me, if you will. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe bell, the button, I'm sorry, and then hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop. Throughout the 2024 season, because it is here. It is up on us now. We've been waiting all summer for it. Let's get into it. His first run, inside zone. And like I said, he has 17 zone runs out of his 24 runs. Let's get this zone. Now, we're prefacing this. I got most of these labeled inside zone, but they could be duo as well. Duo and inside zone kind of blur the lines for, for me so if you may learn it as duo i know to me duo is a version of inside zone so i just label them all as inside zone but if you think it's duo don't bash me to me they kind of float in the same book they kind of have the same principles but they are different plays i will say that i will preference it by saying that but i got them labeled all inside zone because his best runs versus the packers for inside zone this one is four eight, and his patience is is like none other. His patience, his ability to get skinny. There are some of these players where I was like, "Well, where is he going?" And then he just squirted out. You got your double team. Your center even misses on ninety four in the middle, but him missing, he goes right to the plays right into the double team. And so that the, the Eagles pick it up so effortless, effortlessly. They pass it on, and the center just goes up to the to the next linebacker. So you still got a hat on a hat. Now Saquon just got to pick it, pick and find. Look, like, where's this hole? Watch, look at him get skinny and get through there and squirt out. Instinct. Instinct. The, the smallest of margins. And if his tight end don't get kind of shoved into that gap, he come out of there clean, and then it's one-on-one -on -one with 29. Who knows what he does, you know, in space? Second one. Inside zone again for nine yards. And, I mean, he's running behind probably, the, well, I know probably, the best O-line he's ever been, that's ever been in front of him since he's been in the NFL. And they're making this look real easy. Making it look real easy. Forefront. They got the, the easy double team right there on the, the one tick. Center guard, and they go right up on Quay on the backer. That's easy pickings. Easy pickings. You know, I just got to pick the biggest hole and hit it downhill. Full head of steam downhill. Look how he, look how he puts the uh, shoulder down on Keyshawn Nixon and just drives him straight back. Matter of fact, let's take it back here. Watch out for he drive Keyshawn Nixon back. Keyshawn tries to meet him in a hole right there on like the seven. And gets drove all the way to the three. 
Saquon with a full head of steam on a cornerback with just flat footed. Drives him straight backwards for another like four or five yards. And that's what the Philadelphia O-line going to present for him. Opportunities to, to get going and not be touched and get in the open space. And we might see the old Saquon just shatter some numbers. This next one, inside zone again for 11 yards. And keep in mind, the Eagles ran inside zone a lot last year. I don't see that changing much this year. This, to me, is like split zone. But you got the tight end coming across the back of the formation, to me. The tight end coming back across to kind of cut off the read, even though he's not really reading it, he's handing it off. This guy's coming back across. To me, that split zone with everybody else working their zone blocks to the right. A hat on a hat, man. Thing of beauty, man. It's a thing of beauty. Right tackle. Go out, send a combo up to the backer. And that thing open up right there in the A-gap. Look at the A-gap. Look at the, the great job by the center. Jason Kelsey. I know Jason Kelsey. Go on being funny. I was about to say Jason Kelsey who, but I didn't want to disrespect him like that. Because he's one of all-time guard. I mean center. But look at that. I said I'll let to say, like, ain't nothing changed since he, he retired. That's, that's the point I was getting to. Cheaty joke, I know. That's the point I'm getting to. Ain't much change. Jurgens came right in, doing the same thing Kelsey was doing. Don't know if he probably ain't going to have sustained excellence like Kelsey, but still. Look at that big old hole. I say Quan not touched for probably seven, eight yards. You get this man a full head of steam in the secondary, he's going to feed families, man. I'm telling you, he's going to feed families. 11-yard touchdown run. <laughs> Ooh, he did quite something dirty in the hole. Ooh, he did him something dirty in the hole. I said, watch, watch this guy right here. He's going to shoot the gap, and he's going to be face-to-face -face with Saquon in the hole. Saquon going to give him a little, ah-ah. And he gonna disappear on it. He just gonna disappear on it. Bam. So this double team right here kind of they kind of give too much. The center gives too much on his double team. He kind of marries it too much and allows him to, to shoot that gap right there. But shooting that gap, it really didn't stop nothing. <sighs> yeah. Take that left foot in the ground, go the opposite direction. And all this is. I know y'all done seen a drill where the coach will hand it off and they'll have a bag and they'll turn the bag a certain way and the running back have to go the opposite way. That's all this is. Quay Walker is the bag turning to Saquon's left and he's sticking his foot in the ground and going right. That's all this is. This is a drill that has made his way to the field. That's it. Quay was expecting that center, to, uh, not center, who was 69. Quay was expecting the guard to come off. He didn't. Saquon stuck that foot in the ground and got ghost. Touchdown. Touchdown. We're in with this one right here. Inside zone again for 34 yards. And again, I say it from the top. Some of y'all may think these duos, some of them may think it's inside zone. I kind of put them in the same family. This is just amazing. This is just amazing. Crazy. This is inside zone. Left. No, he coming right down here. So this might be duo. Looking at the path of Saquon, this might be duo. But the way the line looking is look. So this is this is it's inside zone too. It's inside zone as well. I got a hat on a hat. Trying to hit that thing backside. Tight end kind of misses. He has nowhere to go. Look at the feet. Look at the feet. Feet steady work. Steady working. Steady working. Steady working. Steady working. Pop, pop, pop. Use that shoulder to make him miss. Reaching for him. Pop, pop, pop. Now he finally gets over here where the, where the blocking at. Now all the blocking's over here. 
But once he get once he avoids this mess and gets on this side, look at the wall. Look at the wall he got. He's now it's off to the races. Off to the races. And this guy right here is normally an excellent blocker. I think Saquon just got up on him too quick. If Saquon just got up on him too, he's normally an excellent blocker down the field. Normally. Again, Friday night in Sao Paulo, Brazil, Saquon, 24 carries, 109 yards, 4.5 yards per carry, two touchdowns uh, rushing, another touchdown receiving the ball, had a great debut with the Philadelphia Eagles, and with the way their O-line was getting up on the second level of the Packers, Quay Walker and some of those other guys, I look for Saquon to do a boatload of numbers, man. The Eagles got weapons for days uh, with A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Hurts, uh, and, you know, Barkley, Eagles going to be tough. They're going to be a tough, tough out in the NFC East. Um, and Saquon just like the icing on the cake because if you try to stop him, got them two guys outside. If you can find a way to stop all three of them, then you got to worry about Hurts and his feet. So if Kellen Moore can put all that together and, and keep them guys happy, Eagles fans, <laughs> y'all going to be real happy this year in the NFC East. So this is Coach Evans with um, the first of many from different teams throughout the NFL. Might even dabble in some college um, during the, the regular season. So, appreciate you guys. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. We'll see y'all soon, man. Peace.